Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave is here, and I am cheap. Sure. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and I would like to introduce you to Hero Generations from Heart Shaped Games. Hero Generations is currently in development, and it is running an active Kickstarter as of this recording. And as luck would have it, this Kickstarter actually surpassed its funding goal while I was doing research for this video. So congratulations to Heart Shaped Games for hitting their $32,000 Kickstarter goal. Also, in other news, this game was successfully greenlit today in the April 16th batch of Greenlight Games. So again, congratulations to Heart Shaped Games. So I think it's pretty safe to say that April 16th will go down as a very special day in the history of Heart Shaped Games. But let's move on to Hero Generations. This game is built by the developer as an indie strategy roguelike about life, legacy, and love. Hero Generations plays like a very light turn-based strategy game with some roguelike elements, that is to say, permadeath, thrown in there for good measure. But the real hook here is the generational gameplay. You play as a hero who steps out into a harsh fantasy world in search of fame and fortune. And indeed, you defeat many monsters and claim many treasures in your quest, but the one enemy that you can't defeat is time itself. Eventually, your hero, racked by old age, will have to settle down and form the next generation. Hopefully, you amass enough fame or fortune in your lifespan in order to grab a very choice mate, otherwise you might end up with the village idiot. Your child will then mature and set out on adventures of their own. And thus, this is the loop of Hero Generations. You will play as every generation of your family, progressively getting better or worse based on the decisions that you make during gameplay. Now, there are those amongst you who will raise your hand and confidently proclaim, Oi, that sounds a lot like Rogue Legacy. However, I would strongly caution you against that comparison because in Rogue Legacy, you're given the ability through the tech or skill tree to constantly improve with subsequent runs. In fact, that's the whole point of the game, to get better over time through funding your particular tech. The only real thing left to chance is the randomly generated offspring, which can sometimes have bad traits. However, in Hero Generations, you have direct agency in how the next generation will turn out. It's not a random set of traits that you're given. Your ability to amass fame and fortune directly affects who you will mate with, and better mates who expect more fame or fortune or strength will indeed have better traits. Your traits will mingle with their traits and produce offspring which are better. Or, the flip side of that coin is that your traits will mingle with inferior traits or negative traits, and perhaps you will indeed have a worse generation in a subsequent playthrough. Stop talking, you idiot. Shut up and play the game. I know, but I love hearing the sound of my own voice so much. Right, but they're going to stop the video if you don't start playing something. Okay, yeah, I should play the game. Absolutely. But... I actually, I have to say one more thing. I know, don't, please stay, do, patience, give, give, just hear me out. I need to talk about what you've been seeing on your screen. All of this art, this great looking art that you've been seeing on your screen represents the aspirational version of the game, what they will create once they get the chance to put those Kickstarter funds to use. These are mock-ups. This is concept art. This is not what the game looks like right now. They currently have a working prototype, which does a great job of demonstrating the mechanics of the game, but not so much on really looking nice. But it still plays great, so there's that. Let's get into the game. New game. We're going to start off a new hero here. This is the first generation of our hero. He's purple and has awesome hair. So we're going to get some quests to start with. We are going to get a quest to kill the boss, Vemon. Vemon? That's a great name. We are also going to get a quest to build a monument. And they're going to tell us, hey, there are quests. Look for quests. So here we go. This is Hero Generations. We have a little representation of our man. We have his expected lifespan. So right now, he has 70 years left to live. Various things can decrease that age, including just moving around. You lose one year every time you move. You age a year and lose a year off your life expectancy. 
We have our strength, which represents our strength in combat. Gold and then fame. These are the things that are going to get you the ladies. Some ladies will want more gold. Some will want more fame. Gold, of course, will also get you things like items and weapons. So that's really cool. Now you're in a grid-based system here, and your movement is roguelike in nature, meaning that when you move, the enemies move. So with simultaneous turns, you've seen this in other traditional roguelikes. So let's go ahead and start moving. So as we move the first time, you're going to notice I age one year, and now I have 69 years left to live. This is my home village. I really want to try to work this up, get this place to really respect me as a hero, so they'll pay me tribute. So let's start out by exploring these deep and dark woods. Hit the forest, and what do we see? 300 gold. We'll take it, sure. So here's a nice little uh, mine here, so we'll head over here, and uh-oh, we have angered the boss. There's uh, Vemin right there, standing beside me. Uh, but luckily, I got some spoils, so now I'm going to attempt to run away. And I'm going to be tracked by Shabrod, who is uh, significantly more powerful than me. You can see there, they're telling me that's danger, right? I have one attack, he has three. I'll show you combat in just a moment. Getting older. Let's see, the people of the slum, yeah, they refuse to pay me tribute. Great, so my hometown does not respect me as a hero just yet, but I'm, go I'm working on that. Into the forest. We have a hammer. What does a hammer do? Well, let's see. It repairs a building in the same space by adding 20 to its lifespan. So if I were to ever build that monument that the quest wanted me to do, that monument, then I'd be able to repair it and extend its longevity by using my awesome hammer. All right, let's adventure around the map here. We will at some point also get milestones, which will help us become more powerful. We'll find items that will help us to uh, become more powerful, increase our strength, and we want to be increasing our fame. Now, we, are, we have a couple fans down here. Well, we have one specifically. Uh, this nice young woman down here looks like she wants to be my mate. So she has really low standards. She just wants someone who has 500 gold. And you can see here in this blank spot, this is where traits would be. So if she had any positive traits, this is where I would be able to note those. And she ain't got nothing. So she's kind of a low end of the totem pole. She just wants a man with money, and that's all she really cares about. And really, she's bringing nothing to the table. So if worse comes to worse, and I have five years left to live, maybe I'll happen by here and mate with this fair lady. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and head out. Uh, they also paid me tribute in that town, which was nice. So, hey, that's uh, all together. Not too bad. Here's an enemy hero who also uh, would try to kill me were I to move any closer to him. So I'm moving around here just in an attempt to age myself and hopefully increase my power. You're going to hit certain milestones, and at those milestones, you will have a chance to increase your power. So we'll pop by the item shop here. Well, we got a few things that might help us out. Let's see what we have. We have a shield, which will absorb damage, and a lesser shield that will absorb damage. Oh, and an emerald sword, which will increase our strength. However, that thing is awfully expensive, and we don't have the money for it. So I do think the shield might be a good investment. Spending the, the 1,500 gold still leaves me with 500, so I still have the option of my uh, mate back in that town who only wants someone with 500 gold. Let's go ahead and pick it up, and now we'll be able to absorb damage in combat. The way that you take damage in combat, it actually ends up taking years off your life. So I will try to engage in combat, but I'm trying to engage in combat that I will not automatically lose. So let's just age a few more years here. Oh, can I grab this? Nope. Nope. Oh, I hit a milestone. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so we have hit a milestone. We're now an adult. We gain 10 attack, and now I can start throttling some of these guys. Well, some of the lesser guys. And when we do hit our adulthood, we are given a chance to flip over a card, and that card may offer us even more enhancements. Uh, let's pick this one. Thief. New trait. I've acquired a new trait. Permanent special abilities. The thief trait gives you the ability to steal 25% of an opponent's money after a victory. Awesome. So let's see. Who can I wail upon? Uh, this guy. So let's go attack this guy. And I'll show you how combat works. Here we go. So, 
Here is my strength. My strength represents my roll on a dice. I can roll uh, anything from, I believe, 0 to 11, and he's going to roll anything from 0 to 5. And we're going to compare those two numbers. The higher number wins, and the person who wins deals their damage to the opponent. So this young man has four years left to live on his lifespan, so he should be pretty easy to kill in one hit if I can actually win the roll. You notice I also have my five uh, from my shield. That would absorb his attack were I to lose. So let's go ahead and attack, and you'll see exactly how easy and simple yet effective combat is. There you go. I rolled a seven. He rolled a one. Therefore, I win. I hit him for five. And he die. I gain 50 fame for killing that monster and stole a bit of his gold off of his dead corpse. So let's see what else we can do here. Can we snag this treasure? We can. I'm feeling like oh, I'm feeling like I can take this guy. Ran me, I can take you. Let's go. Now with an eight, he's gonna have more of a chance to potentially beat me. I could roll a two. You know, he could roll an eight. So let's go ahead and uh, swing into combat here. And I roll a five, he rolls a seven. Therefore, he's gonna swing at me. He hits me for five, but I absorb it. All damage blocked. I lose no life, or no uh, no expectancy off my life. No lifespan lost. But I don't get that sweet, sweet treasure. Now we got some folks down here, maybe some ladies that I could go a courtin' with. So let's head down and see what's going on. Nice bit of tribute here. Okay, this young lady would like... 1,200 fame. She is offering me the rich gene. So if I were to mate with her, then uh, she's going to make me a little bit richer when my uh, offspring comes along. Another low-hanging fruit here, but actually I don't qualify for this yet, so maybe I shouldn't talk. She only wants 300 fame, which isn't that hard to come by, but I ain't got it yet. So still keeping an eye on our mate over in the lower right-hand corner who will accept me just because I got cash and I am trying to see if maybe I can do a little better than that. So I repaired that building just because I walked into it with my hammer, so that's kind of cool. Now I'm going to grab this treasure, and uh, no, wait, I cannot grab the treasure. Because I am full. Let's see. So, I'm going to leave the hammer there. I want to pick up the treasure. Let's see. Nope. Hmm. Okay. Well, this might just be an interface uh, oddity that I have not yet overcome, but I'd really like to drop that hammer and pick up the, uh, the gold instead. Maybe if I drop it in a different... and then move? There we go. All right. So, I angered the boss with that one. There he is down there. And we'll head down here and we will turn this in which will give us 500 fame. So now I'm looking pretty good to that young woman in this village who only wants 300 fame. So you're going to notice now, she loves me. Yep, she wants to bed me. But I'm going to hang out a little bit longer. I'm going to use about another maybe 10 years of my life. Then I want to show you how mating works. Then we'll kind of go on about our business here. So let's keep moving here. Oh, another, another treasure and a milestone. We've hit our midlife. Here we go. Another 10 attacks. So now we're at our strongest... We are a virile, middle-aged man who has the wits of experience and the strength of youth still within him. We'll pick a card to flip. Hey, we gained a year. Not really that great, <laughs> but that'll do. So here we go. Where should we head? Mm, let's try to jump up to this village and drop off our tribute. Even more fame, amassing, amassing, amassing our fame. And this young lady, she likes me. 1,500 gold. And again, the rich gene. So there you go. One rare money-mating card. I'll show you how that stuff works in just a moment. I'm just going to head up here, grab this. I'm going to fight one more enemy, and then we will go back and we will mate. So I pretty much have this guy. I mean, there is a chance I could lose, but it's very unlikely. Let's roll the dice. 11 to 3. I am victorious. And I attack. There we go. 
I kill him, he loses his four, and I am... Oh, a treasure! I am happy to find a treasure. All right, now let's just show you mating just so you can see. Oh, did that guy just... Did he just mate with my woman? What? All right, let's kill this guy. Young whippersnapper there. Think you can come in here and mate with my woman? Finish him off. Oh, he's still got 31 years, so he actually is another hero. And he is a spry young gentleman. Okay, so here we go. We'll go ahead and mate here with this nice young lady. What's her name? Bobbin? Sure. Let's mate. So my legacy is 1600 fame. And what's my uh, new hero's name going to be? Whatever. There you go. So now, here is the, the mechanic that ends up happening when you mate. I'm now going to flip eight cards, and these cards are going to develop my offspring. They're going to tell me how good my kid's going to be. So let's go ahead and start flipping cards. All right, Strength Gene. So he will start out stronger. Extra life expectancy. He's going to have a little more money. Oh, he's going to start with 1,200 gold. I like that. Even more strength. More life expectancy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. More gold. And eight. One more year of life expectancy. So now that's all going to jump into my kid there. And we are going to end up with my offspring. Here we go. 16 years later, he is now ready to go. So I'm going to hand down my wooden shield, my now sturdy, battle-worn shield. And now I'm off to battle so mom is going to give us, uh, yeah, a couple of little uh, tidbits for things we might want to do out in the world as we explore. So now we're going to go out into the world and we're going to do it all again. Hey, look, my, my dad's hammer is still lying there 16 years later. All right. And yeah, this is pretty much it. Now I'm going to start the cycle all over again. I'm going to run through another lifespan and I'm going to keep improving one, uh, one generation at a time. Yeah, funny how that works. So we could buy a red bomb. That's kind of nice. But I really don't want to fill that slot because, again, if I want to pick up a treasure or something, I want to have that slot open. So I'm starting out with four attack, which isn't too bad. Not enough to really take care of any of the ruffians that are directly around the village. But now we're going to head over and we are going to turn this in. I am doing my father proud here. This young woman, again, another easy uh, another easy mate here. <laughs> she only wants 500 gold. I was born with 500 gold, lady. Oh, another nice and easy tribute. Oh, hey, a town offered me tribute. Because they love me in this town. Oh, what's this? This hero snuck into my hometown. All right, I think he's probably going to throttle me. There we go. That was horrible. I will absorb some of that damage and take a bit to the face. So you can see it's kind of not to your advantage to get into combat early on in your lifespan. You want to get a little bit of time to mature. I mean, you know, have you ever been in a fight with a 17-year-old as an adult? Yeah, it kind of goes poorly for the 17-year-old most of the time. All right, so I think you got the idea of exactly what's going on here. So this is Hero Generations. I really, really enjoy this game. It is already funded on Kickstarter. However, I think if you if you like what you see, if I can speak, then I would suggest heading over there and checking it out. And this guy really wants me now because I have his tribute. I wish I could give it to that guy. Look at that. Now I'll turn to my tribute and I will finish finishing this video. So. Hero Generations, check it out. All the information is in the description below. I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy. That sounds a lot like Rogue Legacy. Hey man, that sounds a lot like Rogue Legacy. That sounds a lot like Rogue Legacy. Hmm, I can't help but notice that that sounds quite a bit like Rogue Legacy. You know, I can't help but notice that that sounds quite a bit like Rogue Legacy. Well, that sounds a lot like Rogue Legacy to me. That sounds quite a bit like Rogue Legacy to me. What is it that that sounds so much like Rogue Legacy? Oh, that sounds a lot like Rogue Legacy. Oh, I think that sounds quite a bit like Rogue Legacy.
Hey, man, that sounds a lot like Rogue Legacy. Uh, he, you know, that there sounds a lot like Rogue Legacy. Hey, man, that sounds a lot like Rogue Legacy to me. Well, that sounds quite a bit like Rogue Legacy, if you ask me. That certainly sounds a lot like Rogue Legacy to me. Hey, that sounds a lot like Rogue Legacy. Hey, that sounds a lot like Rogue Legacy. Uh, kind of seems like that sounds like Rogue Legacy. Why, that sounds quite a bit like Rogue Legacy to me, sir. Yeah, that sounds quite a bit like Rogue Legacy. That sounds a lot like Rogue Legacy, man. That sure does sound a lot like Rogue Legacy. That sounds a lot like Rogue Legacy. That sounds like Rogue Legacy. That sounds a lot like Rogue Legacy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's it.